It's time for Ace Gaming Moments. This week, it's time to take things back to the jolly old UK with a British developed game, Not a Hero. The plot here was as surreal as it was goofy. It was all about a bunny rabbit called Bunny Lord who wanted to win an election, become mayor and save the world. Pretty ambitious for a bunny rabbit. To do this, he decided that the best thing to do was murder all of the local gangsters and criminals, win the hearts and minds of the voters and make the city a better place to live. So it was up to Bunny Lord's unique team of psychopaths known as the Bunny Lord Fan Club to complete his wish. The game was mainly about cover based shooting, but it was also the type of game that worked best when played at speed. The combat did have a certain elegance to it. As well as shooting, players could slide from cover to cover, underneath the enemy fire as well as into the enemy's legs, which would trip him up and allow for a brutal execution move. It had a mighty number 9 sort of momentum, where pushing forwards quickly had its advantages. The closer an enemy was, the higher chance you had of pulling off a headshot or a critical hit. Doing it right let you feel like a total action hero badass. The enemy often had extremely aggressive AI as they pushed forwards and forced you out from the safety of cover. Health would regenerate after a brief period of time, but getting overwhelmed would mean that it would soon all be over. The fights took place in multi-story buildings where getting around was done via doors, stairwells and by hurling yourself through windows. By the way, doesn't that music sound familiar? Yeah, sounds eerily like the original Metroid theme, doesn't it? Scattered about the levels, there were various sub-weapons such as turrets, or the cat bomb, which felt like it had come straight out of a Worms game. Plus there were special bullets to pick up, such as ricochet bullets, and probably the most useful, the quick reload bullets, which would last for the rest of the level rather than just for a single clip. The real soul of this game though came from its comedy. Bunny Lord himself was clearly a spoilt psychopath and set some of the strangest mission objectives, like for example catching a giant bee. Why? Who knows? He probably doesn't even know. There were 21 different levels, as you did battle against three stereotypical gangs. I'm fucking the real challenge to Not A Hero was to complete all three of the sub-objectives as well as the main one. These would often force speed by setting a time limit, or require the scouring of the entire building in order to find a mystery hidden item. As the story progressed and Bunny Lord's reputation expanded, new characters would join his crew, each coming with their own set of abilities and weapons, shotguns of course, often being the best, especially against the ninjas. Bunny Lord would introduce these new people to you in his Aunt Ruby's cafe, where he would constantly talk gibberish in between the odd slurps of his uniquely flavoured milkshakes. The only real complaint to be made about this game was that it often got frustrating when a character wouldn't do as they were told because they were mid-animation or doing something else, like executing when instead they should have been shooting. And the platforming often left a lot to be desired. The game was brief but challenging and provided a nice change of pace from the more traditional side-scrolling shooter. It was a blend of the surreal, gritty crime drama and of course a bunny rabbit who wanted to rule the world. If you enjoyed this week's video then click here to subscribe and be sure to catch next week's game review. And as always, thanks for watching.